Hi, I'm Randy Vance, and this is the virtual test drive of Stingray's brand new 235DR deck boat. Now they've also got a 235CR Cuddy. It's the same bottom, but this is the deck boat top. It's got plenty of space on board, lots of great features for fun. We're going to walk you through it right now, starting with the results of our performance testing from earlier today. Our test boat was equipped with a Volvo Penta 5.7 GXI engine with a dual prop drive turning F7 props. Our test load was 235 pounds of passengers and 20 gallons of fuel. We reached 58.8 miles per hour at 4,990 RPM. Our time to plane was 4 seconds and our time to 30 miles per hour was 5.2 seconds. Our most economical cruise speed was 27.1 miles per hour at 2,500 RPM where we burned just 5.6 gallons per hour. That translates into nearly 5 miles per gallon, an all-day fun cruise range of 248 miles and a very good number for a boat of its size. When I ran the Z-plane hull up to maximum speed, it raised up out of the water, giving a velvety ride. Impressively, when I slowed down and turned sharply, tucking the drive back in, the 235 came around smartly with no ventilation in all but the tightest turns. Now what you're looking at here is what you might call a cab forward design, bringing this cockpit forward and then now the 235CR, they made into a cuddy. Now here is the area on the boat that gives it that deck boat designation. Two enormous forward facing lounges. Right here, we've got an ice chest, it's a huge ice chest, and here's your anchor locker and a bow boarding ladder. Now the 235DR is an entertainer and it's really set up for a big crew. You're gonna appreciate the convenience of this head compartment and the pump out toilet. They also tuck the stereo down in there, keeps it out of the weather, and you operate it from the remotes. Now the L-shaped lounge gives lots of seating comfort. Swivel the bucket seats to face aft and everybody's involved in the conversation. And I really like to set up here this entertainment galley, the cooler below and this Kohler-like faucet on the sink. Here's the spigot and over here separated is the faucet handle. Now there's plenty of space underneath this enormous sun pad to have easy access for service on the engine. Easy access to the trim tab pumps and easy access to all parts of the engine. There's a couple of other things you could easily overlook, like the oversized fuel lines. Those oversized fuel lines will take fuel as fast as you can pump, and you could almost pump this boat up with an 18-wheeler nozzle. That's not an easy thing to accomplish on any boat. We also noticed that the bilge blower was insulated from the fiberglass hull with rubber bushings. That makes things a lot nicer. Now, the transom area adds a lot of fun to the boat. You can sit right here on this bench and put your wakeboard on, or look underneath. You've got storage there for wet gloves or wet ropes. You've got your boarding ladder right here under a hatch. A remote control for the stereo, that's three. Another shower, which gives you an option on the transom. And for easy trailering, you've got this trailer switch to get the drive up from there. Now the 235DR has plenty of power on board, plenty of performance. The captain is gonna be particularly interested in the way this all comes together up here. Well, we've got a really nice tilt helm wheel three-spoke Dino racing wheel. It gives it a nice performance feel. We've got a clear view of the instrumentation. We've got another remote control for the stereo. That's one at the bow, one on the transom, and one on the dash. Another really nice feature is that Stingray uses premium cables for the throttle and gear shift binnacle. Makes it very smooth and easy to operate. The seat is easily adjustable and very comfortable. Well, this is the virtual test drive of the Stingray 235 DR deck boat. The only way you can get a closer look at it is to schedule your own sea trial. I'm going to take mine for another spin right now. <laughs> 